Anyang. <laughs> Frankly speaking, I didn't want to make this video because I know there are times when I'm going to be pushed to insult and I really don't want to do that. However, I've been pushed <laughs> to make this video because of certain things I have seen. Yes. Sometimes I switch on and sometimes I switch off. And on Friday, I did switch off. When I woke up on Saturday, I saw the news of Isnachi's death. I wasn't surprised. Frankly, I wasn't surprised. What I was more interested in knowing was her cause of death. First, I heard it was cancer. And then I learned that she had died as a result of domestic abuse. Hmm. <laughs> the reason I'm making this video isn't because of Sinachi died. The reason I'm making this video is because I want to clear some misconceptions. We live in a world where social media is the order of the day. And most people want to have likes. Most people want to have followers. Most people want to seem relevant in our today's world. As such, they don't mind saying anything or doing just about anything to get people's attention. <laughs> One thing that used to amaze me is the fact that most human beings don't make use of their brains. It used to annoy me in the past when I had less tolerance for stupidity and idiots. I used to be more like anti-acid. You know anti-acid? If you don't know about her, go to Facebook or go to Instagram. you see anti-acid there. I used to be like her. I can't stand idiots. Well, I have more tolerance for them now, but I couldn't. I just couldn't stand idiots. And unfortunately, like I tell my kids in class, most people have brains, but they decide to swap the brain cells that God has given them. Swap them for Indomie. Noodles. Or they think that the brain cells they have are not brain cells. That they are into me, that can't think. It's so annoying to see that most people, when I say most, I mean 85 to 90% of the humans on earth, do not think before they act or talk. They just go, yap, 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 because. It is the norm. People are saying it. People are doing it. So, like idiots, they decide to join a bandwagon. I didn't really want to make this video. I didn't want to say anything. <laughs> because I'm trying to repent. However, it is one thing to keep quiet. And it's another to answer my maker when I die. I do not want to be found wanting. You see the devil. <laughs> that guy. He's trying. The guy called the devil. He's trying. On a very normal day, I pay him no mind. 
like we say in our local slangs, I know they send devil. Devil not send me any December. But the guy is trying. He has the habit of raising up the unimportant and making it blow like it's the most important to be cloud people's mind to be cloud people's thinking so they end up focusing on the mundane as opposed to the main issue the guy they try you see Osinachi died and it's been said that the original cause of death was as a result of injuries inflicted upon her by her husband. And the next thing I see everywhere is, oh, blame the church. Oh, the church is against divorce. Oh, it is the religious pastors that have been washing their members to stay back in abusive relationships. Oh, this, oh, that. And I'm like, edge on it to real law. On an no say, na something I go keep person. In other words, there has to be a cause of death. Yes, there has to be a cause of death for every person to die. Now, what was the synergy's cause of death? Death as a result of injury from the harm inflicted upon her by her husband. That's her cause of death. Why did Osinachi die? You think if God doesn't want her to die, she will die now? Most of you keep forgetting that before anything is manifested in this plane of ours called the physical realm, it has already been concluded. In the spiritual realm. You think if God doesn't want Osinachi to die now, Osinachi will die. No way. As far as I'm concerned, Osinachi died because her race is over. Her job that she was sent to do here is done. She has done her job and she has gone. Of course, something must kill a man and so she died as a result. Was that the first time the husband was beating her? How come she did not die all this while the husband has been beating her? It is this time around that she's dying. Did you people think about that? <laughs> Domestic violence. Let me use my parents as an example of what the devil is doing and why it's, it's amazing that you people don't see it that way. My parents were married for years. Before they gave birth to me, they had been married for over 10 years. And in my 20s, or late teens, I watched my parents and I saw a pattern. My father, <laughs> is a wonderful human being. People that know me know when I use the word wonderful, I don't mean something good. My father is a wonderful human being. It's not like he isn't a nice man. Ah, he's a very good human being, but at the same time, a very wonderful human being because I don't understand how he thinks. I don't understand how my father will stay and the man already knows my mother's trigger for things. He stays like a person playing video game, begins to push her buttons. And the woman, I don't know how she reasons, We begin to respond to the buttons that my father is pressing. Now, like I said, my father is like a person playing video games. My father is doing it for fun. My mother, on the other hand, isn't seeing it that way. She takes those things seriously. And the next thing you see, the woman is provoked. She's there, you know, vibrating and talking. And my father is in one corner, laughing in his heart. He's doing it for fun. And the woman is not seeing it as a game. And in my mind, I'm like, how can you do this to your fellow man? The woman is talking. The woman is shouting. Her blood pressure is increasing. How is this supposed to be fun for you? 
I didn't understand that. I still do not understand. I don't think I will ever understand it. That's what the devil is doing. The devil is busy having a field day with what is happening now concerning the synergies that because he knows that majority of the humans are focused on the domestic violence perpetrated by her husband like it is a brand new thing when we all know domestic violence is nothing new under the sun instead of us to be fixating our minds on where we are going to spend our eternity because what visited us in our chain, in this case death we eventually visit every one of us at one point or the other in our lives I belong to the Actors Guild of Nigeria, the Abuja chapter. And because I don't have time, I rarely have time for my phones, my messages in their group has piled up. So when I woke up from sleep this afternoon, I decided to catch up on my messages. And whilst doing that, I realized we had lost a member. This chick is beautiful. You need to see her skin. Clear skin. But where is she? She's lying in the mortuary. Dead. She was involved in a motor accident somewhere around Banex here in Abuja. Death can visit anyone at any time. Are you ready for it? Are you ready to face your maker? When I learned of Usina Chistet, I had an earworm. Do you know the earworm? The song she sang. The cry you will cry when the saints are gone. Right now, when the saints are still around, the shouts you will shout when the saints are gone. Shout it now that the saints are still around. <laughs> People are talking yap yap yap. But they are forgetting the most important. The most important for me is you reflecting on where you're going to spend eternity when you eventually answer the call before. That call we all will definitely answer unless we are the humans that will still be on earth when the trumpet sounds and some will get raptured. Moving on to domestic violence and who actually killed Usinachi. Since we want to hang the cause of that on somebody people are blaming the church well I guess it's according to the level of the understanding that's why they think the church is to blame I won't blame the church because the church didn't kill the synergy most people confuse church for religion. Religion and church are two different things. Most people confuse Christianity for religion. Christianity and religion are two different things. What is the church? The church is all humans coming together with Christ as the head. That's the church. What's Christianity? Christianity is a way of life for those that are living after the footsteps of Christ. What is religion? <laughs> religion for me is bondage that Christ came to deliver us from. It's unfortunate that most Christians 
practice religion. Religion. Did religion kill Osinachi? No. Religion didn't. What killed her? In my opinion, society killed her. That was, that's, that's the bedrock of my anger. The devil knows it is society that killed Osinachi. Yet he's allowing people place the blame on the church instead of where it should be on the society the society failed osinachi the society killed osinachi as far as i'm concerned how osinachi was married to a man the man abused osinachi the man beat her up. There was one I read where they said the man at a point tied her up and asked her own children to flog her. Is that man human? Obviously not. He's a beast. And I wonder if the children did it. If they actually did beat their mother, was it as a result of fear? Were they that scared of their father? Let's thank God for God, though. I can't have a father like that. You will die, oh. But let's thank God for God anyway, that someone has repented. Okay. So my point in essence is this. Osinachi was a married woman. She married a man that abused her domestically. Osinachi, at a point, according to the story, left the marriage, but then she came back. Osinachi told friends that knew about it to keep mom. Why? The number one killer of women in Africa. What will people say? Of course, I understand the synergy. Once upon a time, I had the mother that was like her. My mother has two daughters, my elder sister and myself. Sometime down the line, my mother was contemplating leaving my father for her sanity and peace of mind. But did she leave him? No. Why? Ah. Oh. I have two daughters. If I leave my marriage, what will people say? It's not sons I have. Oh. I have daughters that need to get married. If I leave my husband, it will be difficult for my daughters to get married because people would say, since I couldn't stay with my husband, it is very doubtful that my daughters will as well last in their marriages. That was my mother's excuse for staying in that abusive marriage. What will people say? Now my mom is gone. She's dead and buried. And her daughters are still not yet married. <laughs> So, as far as I'm concerned, her staying back didn't change anything. It didn't make things better. It made things worse. Of course, my mom was murdered. But despite the fact that it wasn't my father's hands that went round my mother's neck and snuffed the life out of her, there is still this part of me that believes that he was the cause of her death. 
if he hadn't done something, some things wouldn't have happened that made her be where she was as at the time of her death. Now, my point in essence is my mother stayed back because of what will people say. Now she's gone. Did what the pe will people say give her children husbands? Human beings will be there and they will see again and ask, uh-uh. Is she still single? How come she's not married? It's probably because when the guys were coming for her when she was younger, she was busy thinking she was Miss World, the most beautiful, and she did not, you know, give them leeway to marry her. And now she's getting old. People are doing the talk. A young lady gets married and the next thing, people are looking at her stomach and they are wondering, uh uh, the belly still flat. What thing happen? Why did it never begin this swell? Wait and then go bump again. How is it your business when somebody gets pregnant? Wait and then go bump again. She now won't spoil her shape. Wait and then they wait for. I don't understand. How is it your business when she gets pregnant? Or she gets pregnant and begins to give birth. The same people will say, uh uh. Now, so so bomb, 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 she go day bomb. Now, only picking nine, then come here, come they make. I be she be baby making factory. I tire for the matter. You give birth, they complain. You don't give birth, they complain. You are single, they complain. You get married, don't call another wahala. Ah. There was this lady I knew once upon a time. The lady was a member of the choir, 8 a.m. choir in Sike Sikwa. When I was attending the church in the past, I wanted to join their choir. So I approached this lady and asked her for their meeting times and all of that. And she told me, I left the church for three months and came back. The day I resumed church, I saw the lady going out for Thanksgiving. She had gotten married the previous Saturday and she was going for her wedding Thanksgiving. That Sunday I resumed church and I was ecstatic with joy. Why? Because the lady was a nice person and she was a bit advanced in age then i think she should be approaching 40. she was a bit advanced in age and i was really happy she was married then i turned to see who her husband was and i saw that it was one of the hand flingers of the choir don't mind me that's what i call them hand fingers are the choir masters and choir mistresses so she got married to one of the hand flingers or one of the choir masters of the church of that choir and again, I took a break from the church. I usually alternate between attending a Catholic church or attending living faith, depending on where the spirit leads me. So again, I took a break from the, from the church for about six months. And by the time I resumed, I searched for the lady in the choir and I couldn't find her. And then I got talking with one of my senior friends, my sister's friend, Auntie Vivian. And Auntie Vivian told me that the lady had passed on three months back. Really? How come? Was she sick? Was it an accident? What happened? And then Auntie Vivian told me that the lady's husband came home one day drunk I think she confronted him. He beat her up. And she fell. He left her there and stormed out of the house. By the time he came back, she was still lying where he left her. He checked and found out that she was dead. He wrapped her body in the rug or he carried her body i can't remember anymore 
and he was about to dispose of the body when he was caught and arrested. This was three months into their wedding or into their marriage as the case may be. And then I heard that the reason why the lady settled for this guy wasn't because she loved him with all of her being. She settled for him because she felt she was advancing in age. And the same, what will people say if I don't get married? She was well-to-do. I think she even had more money than the husband she married and all of that. Yet, when she was suffering in a marriage, the people that she was trying to please were not there to take the beatings for her. And that was how her life was knocked out. Just like that. Because she was trying to please people. What are said people? These are members of the society we find ourselves. And that is why it is annoying. It's annoying how people try to please the society. It's annoying how people concern themselves with what people will talk about them. It's annoying how people forget the fact that there is always news. You'll be the breaking news for that moment and the next day, it's someone else. It's something different. It's something, it's something else. So why kill yourself? Because for the moment you are breaking news or in the nearest future, it'd be a breaking news. So what? So what? People will always talk. Your mouth will always go yap, yap, yap. So what? Osinachi is gone. That lady is gone. My mother is gone. All rooted to domestic violence. All rooted to the fact that they decide to endure because of what people would say. And there the society is pointing fingers at the church. Like the church did the kill. <laughs> There are some humans that are saying, oh, when the lady wanted to leave her pastor, Dr. Paul Nature advised her to go back to her husband. I wasn't there, I can't say. But because of that, they are pointing fingers at the church. <laughs> you only do that if you are void of understanding. You see, when it comes to marriage, it is true that in the Old Testament, in the book of Malachi, I think Malachi 3 or so, it is written that God, Jehovah, said he hates divorce. That's true. It is also true that in the book of of the gospel I'm setting up Matthew but I can't remember where that Jesus was approached and he was told about how Moses had told men to put away their wives as a result of different reasons and Jesus said what God has joined together, let no man put asunder. And then Jesus said, the only ground of divorce is on the ground of infidelity. Which husband in this world is faithful? Of course, I know there are a very, 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 very few number that are actually faithful. Majority of them aren't. So on the ground of infidelity alone, a lot of women are free to divorce their husbands. Despite God saying he hates divorce in the book of Malachi. Jesus already gave us that leeway. In fact, I used to be among the people that would say, my husband dare not cheat. And if he does, I dare not find out. Because if I do, that's the end of the marriage. I used to say that until 
I read further and got to understand the part that says forgive 70 times, 7 times in a day. In a day! <laughs> and I all said, well, this husband of mine is lucky because of this 70 times, 7 parts. So I can forgive him. That doesn't mean that I am giving my husband express tickets to go cheat. No. For every action, there is an opposite, equal and opposite reaction. <laughs> so everything you do has a consequence, either good or bad. Of course, it's going to dance the tune that he decides to beat or the drummers decide to beat for him. But what am I saying? I'm still talking about society. That is blaming the church for Osinachi going back to her husband. Osinachi didn't go because of the fact that God said he hates divorce. No. She went back because she was thinking of what society would say, what the people would say. The people talking about divorce and blaming the church. There is this woman I love so much. The woman has no name in the Bible. The woman is simply the woman by the well. The Samaritan woman by the well of Jacob that Jesus saw and asked for water. I love that story in John 4. People see the story from different angles. There are different facets to that lady and the story that was told about her. This woman was married several times and one will begin to wonder how come this woman is busy marrying and remarrying and there are no other ladies in the town like it's only this woman that was married in fact she had married three people and the first person was not even bothered about he still wanted to marry they did not say she was just saying married how married her begin to wonder what's so special about the woman that men wanted to marry her. Now, about the woman by the well, the Samaritan woman. Did you notice that Jesus Christ told her that the man she was with wasn't her husband? Now, if this man that supposedly married her, according to their customs and tradition, wasn't her husband, who then was her husband? Some people would say, oh, the first man she married, really, how sure are you? The Bible says we shouldn't be unequally yoked, unequal union. That's the bedrock, unequal union. As far as I'm concerned, Osinachi was in an unequal union with her husband. Her husband saw her as a cash cow. She was raking in money for him with her voice. God, save your children. Save your people. Osinachi was in an unequal union. You see, people say, go to church, join units, be a worker in church, and all of that. And then you go to church, and you see this man in church, and you think because you have seen this man in church, the man must be a good person. He must be God-fearing. And then this man comes to you and proposes to you and you say yes. My dear, do not be deceived like the Bible will say. There are some wolves in sheep's clothing. Have you tested the man to see that indeed the man is what he says he is? Even the devil goes to church. Or did you not see in the book of Job where it said that the sons of God gathered and devil as well came to the gathering. You did not see, you did not hear. Devil too is in the church. 
So you have to be careful. Not because you see the person in church, then you automatically stamp the person as being good. No. The Bible says, test all spirits. It's not everybody that calls me Lord, Lord. That will enter into the banquet. What's in that she's gone? She endured an abusive marriage because of what society would say. You are out there. I have no idea what you are facing. But I hope it isn't because of what society would say. Forget society. Society don't own you. Free yourself from their clutches. The Bible says, Whoever the Son of Man sets free is free indeed. Why would Jesus come to set you free and then you decide to remain in bondage? Oh, you religious people, religious people, people that carry religion on your head, well done. Especially those Christians that carry religion on their head, well done. Don't be a Christian, practice religion. Because they told you the Jesus Christ that they are calling you after was a religion practitioner. Continue. Well done. Continue. Continue. If religion and rules were so important, was there no rule that says do not work on the Sabbath day? Yet, Jesus Christ, the Lord of the Sabbath, healed a lame man on the Sabbath day. Have you ever sat down to think about it? Why he would say he's the Lord of the Sabbath? Have you ever sat down to think? Religious practitioners, well done. Keep practicing religion. Keep following rules. Don't go and read the book of Acts and liberate yourself. Sorry, the book of Romans. Don't go and read Romans so, and liberate yourself. Continue working on that law when God has given you the freedom of grace. Ekushe, well done. My point is, of course Malachi, God said he hates divorce. Of course Moses, in his books, can't tell if it is Deuteronomy, one of his books anyway, he said men could put away their self, put aside their wives. Of course, Jesus Christ in the New Testament said, based on the ground of infidelity, you can divorce. Of course, Jesus Christ stamped it by saying what God has joined together, let no man put asunder. That's what I'm going to. You think it is every union that is joined by God. You think even if it, is, it happens in an edifice called a church, that God is stamping the union please do not be deceived do not be deceived it makes me laugh when I hear Christians talking and they're like oh the traditional marriage is not all you have to wear it in the church you have to do it in the presence of God ta 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 bladder dash who told you God isn't there when they are doing their traditional marriage? Who told you God is confined to a building? Did you not read when Jesus Christ was talking to the Samaritan woman by the well? Where he said, a time will come where you will neither go to the hills nor your own place of worship. That's the Samaritans because the Samaritans and the Jews worship God in different places. You will neither go to the hills like the Jews nor where it is that you people, the Samaritans, go to worship God. Because it matters not where you meet to worship God. Why? Because God is spirit. And only those that worship God in spirit and in truth are the true worshippers. Are you a true worshipper? A true worshipper will know that God is everywhere. Like the psalmist would say, even if you go down to the depths of Sheol, to hell, God is still there. His eyes are still there seeing you. There is no way you go to that God isn't. So how can you tell me until I come to a building called a church? That is when God is going to sanctify the marriage. God is everywhere. (laughs) 
So, my point in essence is Osinache indeed is gone. I pray for our soul to rest in peace. I'm thankful to God that I got to know about her before she left. I'm thankful for the different times where I have listened to her and her voice has translated me into the presence of my father. I'm thankful because she is one soldier that had come to earth and fought her battle well and she has gone back to meet her maker. I'm thankful for the life she lived. I'm thankful because her death once again made me realize that the good ones don't last long on earth. She's one of the good ones and she has gone. It makes me wonder, for me to still be alive, does that mean I'm bad? <laughs> maybe, then again, maybe not. Maybe unlike Kosinachi, I haven't actually done that which I'm sent here to do. Who knows? Until God sends his angels for me. I'll still be here trying to see how I can do that which he has sent me to do it. For those of you crucifying the church, it isn't a church. It isn't religion either. It's actually the society that pulled the trigger. It's actually the society that killed us in a tree. So if I were you, I'll stop allowing the devil distract me and concentrate on what's more important. Where you will spend eternity. Eternity is a long time, you know. I'll leave you thinking about that. You know, about where you spend your eternity. While I think about mine. Until next time, like I usually say, please remain blessed.